Hi everyone, so welcome back. Um, today I am going to show, um, so there will be a couple of videos. Uh, first video will be how to connect. Um, so I told uh, uh, that um, we can connect uh, to a local LLM uh, directly, but I never showed it uh, like uh, with the demo that how to do it. So what I am going to do over here is um, show you how to do this part. Okay. So for this, what I've done, um, as I said earlier, uh, so I got one machine, which is very powerful um, machine. It has NVIDIA running on it. And what I did was I, uh, I downloaded LM Studio and uh, then downloaded Llama 3 and it has NVIDIA and it was running very fast, okay? So what, uh, and then I installed, and that is a Windows machine, uh, machine. So I was able to install mid server over it. And uh, if I'll check, uh, so, okay, let's check if my mid server is up. Yeah, so this is the mid server that I've installed over there. And um, here you see Windows, it is running on a local host and um, it has everything, okay? Now, what I wanted was, so first to connect to, uh, so once we install means L uh, LM uh, Studio, you can run the uh, your model. So you just have to select your model. This machine has 5.3, but that machine, the, the one I'm running over there, has um, uh, Llama 3 running over there. And that is running on a server port, 130, uh, 1234, okay? So I can just uh, start the server, then it, it will start running that uh, um, uh, like service over that uh, port. Now here, once you'll see over here that what we have to do, if, if we want to communicate to that uh, local LLM, uh, we just, so the code is also available over here. So local host one, two, three, four, uh, and V1 chat completion, you have to provide this information. And I have done all those things already. So let's just dive in. So if I go to rest messages, and the rest LLM. So here you see, um, okay, the, the default one, uh, I already had, so, but yeah, this will be a post me uh, method. It says default because I just added the default one. But um, when you'll see over here, the endpoint, uh, you see uh, the endpoint is running on localhost. That is 127.0.0. And uh, uh, one, two, three, four is the port number, V1 chat completion. Uh, and this is the content. So you see, uh, Llama Studio, Meta Llama 3, 8 billion parameters. Um, so it's a very powerful machine and it is running. Uh, let's just, so I asked it to uh, be Jiraiya Sensei. So if you don't know, Jiraiya Sensei is nothing but a fictional character in a very popular series of uh, Naruto. So I was like, let's just... Uh, um give that something related to that right so uh, and i've created this uh, variable substitution for the user query and if i'll test it uh, it will just ask how are you and right now because it is running on a local machine on a local server it will take little seconds but yeah see it is fine um it is so i'm doing well thank you for asking my eyes may be weak but my heart is strong uh, I've been keeping busy as ever, training the next generation of ninja at a hidden leaf village. See, it is doing really, really good. And uh, uh, and this is all um, local. So fully secure, everything is in your machine. You are not sending anything out and you're talking uh, in service now. Now, but obviously we cannot talk this way. Uh, so user is not going to, you know, so I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's just, uh, okay, just give me a second. Yeah. I will open 
So I have integrated with uh, chatbot. Uh, so ServiceNow provides a virtual agent. Yeah, we already know all these things. Let me just duplicate that. And remove the rest of the details and put ESC. Yeah, so we are in Employee Center now. Uh, let's open a chat window. So, and this is how users are going to communicate, okay? So in my chat window, uh, if you are doing directly can, uh, talking to uh, in the agent, um, sorry, uh, now support, then uh, it will not talk, uh, I mean, it will use the default uh, uh, way of finding the topic based on your queries, but I have already created a topic separately. So you can choose um, which one you want. Uh, I will talk about document share and talk to CMDB in the later videos, but this one is fully local secure network that I wanted to show. So that is LLM guided. I've created this topic. Now, once you'll see, yeah, it sends the same message. Hello, I'm Jiraiya Sensei. Tell me what you need, my chat. So I will say, um, can you help me uh, getting... Uh, motivated uh, for next Monday meeting. Okay, so now once I have sent this information, um, I can see on the other LM studio, uh, the tokens are getting generated. And uh, um, yeah, now it is done over there. We have uh, got the answer and here is the answer. So did you know, and this is a default message that I've added whenever uh, Jira Sensei will reply because uh, just to give like a little bit flavor of uh, Naruto. So did you know Naruto was as curious as you? Let me get back to you. My young grasshopper, I sense that your spirit is faltering, preparing for the battle ahead. Fear not, for I shall impart some wisdom on you as a ninja. We must always be prepared to face our challenges head on. Next Monday's meeting may seem daunting, but remember that every ninja worth their salt has faced similar obstacle and emerged victorious. Transformation from the determination of Naruto Uzumaki, who never gave up in his pursuit of... Uh, yeah, so as you saw that uh, there was some... means uh, The sentence was not complete. That is because... Uh, I have made it made sure that uh, uh, we are only getting 100 tokens out of it. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, so so how the comp uh, sentence generation works, it is uh, determining each token one by one, right? And because it is determining each token one by one, it is taking a lot of time. Even if uh, I have a GPU, uh, uh, which is running in the backend, it is still taking a lot of time. Uh, so you saw how much time it took to generate this much answer. Now, if I'll take uh, more than um, 100,000 milliseconds, uh, by default, virtual agent will decline my uh, transaction. That is the reason I had to make sure that um, it is running this way. Okay, so this is all, um, this is the same setup that I've used. Um, so I'm using mid server to connect to my uh, local service, which is running, which is running, uh, which is hosting a uh, LLM. Uh, for me, it was Llama 3. Okay. Okay, see you in the next video. Uh, I'm going to talk about the CMDB chat and um, also document chat and how to put all to all these things together uh, via virtual agent so that uh, your virtual agent will work fully functionally uh, for your users and uh, uh, they can derive multiple uh, values from it. Okay, thank you.